So here I'll demonstrate how to use Wake on LAN on a MacBook Air. This MacBook Air is wirelessly connected to my home router. And if you go to about this Mac, more info, you go under AirPod, you will see this line here, Wake on Wireless, it is supported. So what you have to do is you have to put this to sleep. My currently my MacBook Air takes a while because a couple of scripts I run every day. And then you need another computer connected on the same network wirelessly too. All you need is a Wake on LAN Magic Packet utility. Once you have that, you just wait for your MacBook Air to go to sleep. So all you have to do is you have to key in your so your MacBook Air is asleep and then key in all your Mac address everything and then you send a packet, you send a packet and it wakes up. Let me show that to you one more time. Put it to sleep. Put it to sleep. It takes a while because I have a couple of startup scripts that I run once it enables, so once you have it asleep, and I'm gonna press the wake me up button. And you press it, wake me up. And there you have it. it. Comes back to life. And just to demonstrate that the MacBook Air can send out a packet, what we have here is an application that detects packets. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for the Wake on LAN packet. And as you can see, I was capturing for a while. And so you need something like a Wireshark to capture your packets and currently you see you have no wake on land packets currently that it is catching you need to enter wake on land and then what you need to do is the other computer which I was supposed to wake up but my HP laptop doesn't have wake on land support so what you have to do similarly here enable Wireshark And you start capturing on the device which has it. So, what we're gonna do is hmm, I've created an application that runs it. Here we have it. We're going to click on land utility, press OK, key in the MAC address. Okay, the subnet, this is a local network, and then what it'll do is it'll send a packet and it's registered over here. So what I'll do is I'll register I'll send the packet one more time for you guys to see. There you have it. One, two, there we go. See, twice. As you can see over here, this thing has sent it twice. What is important to know is that you have to send it to port 9. As you can see over here, the discard port 9, because that's the one that will forward it. Alright, that's all.